Okay, so this is week three of the workout series. I am tired, which I don't know why. I've been waking up for the past week at 3 a.m. on dot 245, 214, 3. Weird, don't understand it. I, I didn't go back to sleep, so I've been up since 3 a.m. Not sure why. We got an energy drink, even though I don't like Prime, but there's only the only store that was open at around this time was like my one local store, so I just went there and grabbed some caffeine. Anyway, we're just going to jump in the video. We're going to just jump right into the comparison because there's not really much else I need to describe besides I'm taking my. I'm just going to grab the stuff because I've been getting asked this a lot. We got this, which I've been taking. I take two of these a day. So I take three scoops in the morning, three scoops at night because you're supposed to take six scoops of this per day or for one serving to get the full amount of the nutri that nutrients here. And I cannot do that. So I do three scoops in the morning, three scoops at night with whole milk I, uh, in a 24 ounce container. And this roughly fills about 12 ounces by itself to powder and then 12 ounces of fluid. And then I also put creatine. Now I don't understand this creatine. The thing I just showed you has five grams of creatine per serving. So about 2.5 with how I do it in the morning, 2.5 at night. And then this confuses the crap out of me because it says right here, 750 milligrams of caffeine, not caffeine, creatine. But I'm pretty sure the daily intake is only supposed to be 10 to 20 grams, so I don't understand how it could be 750 milligrams. Because wouldn't that give me a stomach ache and all that? I take one scoop of this and put that in the powder uh, in the morning, but I do not take that in this at night. But I don't understand. If anyone knows, just let me know in the comments below what's up with that, why it's so high. Yeah, it, I, maybe it's not even creatine. I don't know. I eat, or yeah, I eat that. I eat a protein bar in the morning, which is 20 grams of protein, 200 calories. I'll eat one of those. It's a kind bar or something chocolate, banana, whatever. I'll eat after that my usual meal, which would be some pasta thing or beef and rice. I'll eat a whole container of that, about this size actually. I fill this whole thing up and then eat that. This had eggs in it because I just wanted something quick and easy right now because I'm, I'm not like bulking today. And then I have my meal when I get home. I need to put another snack inside my thing. Oh yeah, I eat uh, tuna fish. I'll still eat my two can of tuna, which is 35 grams of protein and 160 calories. But then my final break, I don't eat anything. And then when I get home, I just drink the other shake. So I need to add a little more meal, I think, in there. Because I'm capped right now 126 pounds. I haven't been able to go above. And some days I'm under 123, 126. So I know my calorie surplus needs to go up even higher then. Now we're going to jump right into comparisons. There we go. This week I've been doing cost effects. Now this is last week's picture. I'm going to do a comparison. Now, I think I'm just slightly bigger in this in the picture I'm about to show you guys because the camera angle, I'm slightly closer to the camera, so I think that's why I look bigger. I'm not 100% sure. I'm pretty sure it's placebo because I didn't really gain much weight. Besides, I think my gut looks a little bit smaller, but not sure. So, we're going to show you that because I've been doing calisthenics now a little bit. I, I've just been doing my basic push-ups with the arms extended out, but I've been doing proper forearm push-ups, and I've been doing a lot more negatives because I'm capped at 10, or sets of 10, and it's frustrating the crap out of me, and I researched something that you can do negatives to help increase your, how many you can do, so I've been doing that. I've been also doing different arm placements, which I think kind of screwed up my shoulder, so I just got to stick with what I was doing because it was working. I just got to fix my elbow tucks and how far that is and then i'm working on my l sits right now i want to do an l sit as the first cost that go i have so i can do the hand thingy where you hold yourself up but i can extend my legs so my leg core is completely shot right now i gotta work on that which is no big deal it's just something to work towards but here we go enough talking about that so this is what i look like now before now only thing i noticed is my Chest looks bigger. My shoulders are definitely not that big. There's no way my shoulders gain that much just from doing push-ups. So I'm pretty sure it's just the angle placement. And then my stomach is just rounder. And I'm pretty sure it's just fat. But that's fine. Because I that means I have some fat I could turn into muscle. I'm not too concerned about that. It still gains. I look better, I think, this week than I did last week. My chest feels fuller. I look better. My shoulders, I still don't think, are... There's just no way. The, and my arms are definitely not that big. So, yeah, I think that's just the angle play right there. I don't think that's really anything else. And then my back... There's nothing to my back. I need to start doing back workouts because I have, like, no muscle. My back's just super flat. And, yeah. That's it for that stuff. Player signing off.